Hi guys, my name is Olga and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's practice is gonna be all about the lower back. So we're gonna cover the lumbar spine. I hope it's gonna be helpful for you as I guess all of us have problems with that part of our body. It's always tight and a little bit, you know, stiff. So we're just gonna move it a little bit, stretch it a little bit and give it a break. Okay, so let's take a comfortable seat. It can be either cross-legged or not, whatever feels good for you. Just make sure your spine is um, straight and tall. And whenever you're ready, just close your eyes. And take a moment to take a few deep breaths. Now just check in with your body, see how it feels, if there is any tension maybe. Just observe it without judging. And if you want, you can make an intention for a practice with love for your body, just for you right here, right now. And gently open your eyes. So we're gonna start with a side stretch. Make sure your um, both sit bones are grounded. Place your left, uh, right palm on the ground. Inhale your left arm up and with an exhale, just stretch to the right side. You can use the bottom arm, the, the one that is on the mat to push yourself out from the ground up. So you can feel the stretch from your hip all the way to your fingertips. Make sure your chest is open, that your arm is not falling in front of you. Just make it nice, long and open and breathe. Feel your rib cage on the left side expanding with each breath. Inhale back up and exhale, place the palm down. Other side, right arm with an inhale up and an exhale to the left side and, in, and inhale and exhale. Try to fi uh, find as much space as you can in that side of your body. Just stretch it and expand with each breath. Inhale, center, and exhale, arm down, again. Inhale, left arm, and exhale, to the right. Open chest, heart to the sky, and breathing in and out. Relax your jaw your face muscles. Try to find the softness. Inhale back up and exhale, hand, hand down. Again, inhale and exhale, stretch. Open the chest. Real nice. And breathe. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, back up. And exhale, release. Now we're gonna move to the tabletop position. So wrists under your shoulders and knees under your hips and relaxed feet. With the next inhale, we're gonna drop our belly and gaze forward into a cow. Then exhale, we're gonna tilt the pelvis, push from the shoulders and trying to round our spine as much as we can. Loose head, cat. And again, inhale, drop your belly button as low as possible. Look forward. And exhale, tilt your pelvis and push your spine up, cat. Inhale. Cow. And exhale. Cat. Last round. Inhale, but this time try to move your hips from side to side, your shoulders, maybe to the front or to the back. You can move your hands, just looking for that range, for that movement that you want. Just feel free to do whatever your body tells you to. And now exhale, cat, and do exactly the same. Move, stretch, and experiment. And whenever you're ready, just find the center. Tuck your toes in, shift your weight forward and send the hips to the sky, downward facing dog. And here make sure that your um, spine is long and straight, that your head is loose. And if that means that you can't place your feet on the ground, that's fine, just bend your knees slightly. Shoulders far from the ears. Pressing out from the palms, from the mat. And breathing in. You can gently walk the dog. Put one heel on the ground, then the other. Just looking for that movement. Gently with love. And again, finding your stillness. Now with the next inhale, just walk yourself to the front of the mat, to your arms, and place your feet, feet hip distance apart. Grab the opposite elbow and let your body hang. And breathe. This is a great way to give our spine a rest. Again, straighten your one knee or the other. Again, rock from side to side. Just look for that movement. And release the hands. You can interlace your fingers and place them on the neck. The stretch here is a little bit more intense, so if it doesn't feel good, just release the hands. And breathe. And release the arms, place your palms on the ground. And start to bend your knees slowly, sitting on our heels, staying on the tiptoes, and just turning yourself into a little ball. So squeeze as much as you can, 
and release. And gently place your hands back and make yourself comfortable in a seated position with long legs. You can either adjust your bum or your legs, whatever feels good. Just make sure your back is nice and uh, straight. Bend the right knee and place your right foot on the inner left thigh. Make sure your hips are square and parallel to the shorter edge of the mat. If your knee doesn't reach the ground, that's fine. You can either place something underneath it or just leave it like this. Left leg engaged. So inhale, both arms up and exhale, forward fold. We're trying to place first the belly on the thigh, then the chest and then the forehead. So instead of doing this, you'd rather extend your spine and place your um, forearms on the ground just letting the gravity do the work here. Straight, straightening and lengthening the spine as much as you can. This is one of my favorite stretching exercises. I hope you can feel it somewhere around here on the right side of your lower back. And breathe. With an inhale, gently walk yourself back up. You can help yourself with your right arm. Put the knee up and place your feet on the outer side of the left knee. Now we're gonna go into the twist called half, half Lord of the Fishes. So left leg engaged, the foot is placed on the mat. We're taking inhale arms up and with the next exhale we're gonna uh, twist to the right and we either can hook the right knee with the left elbow or either hug it gently it depends on how you, how deep you can go into the twist so with each inhale you want to straighten your spine and with an exhale twist a little bit more the right hand behind you and look in to the right shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, taller spine. And exhale, release. Good job. Okay, so another leg. Bring the left foot into the inner right thigh. Adjust your hips. Inhale, both hands up. And exhale, forward fold to the right leg. And breathe in. Lengthening the spine, breathing in, relaxing whatever can be relaxed, either it's a jaw or maybe face muscles. Keep the soft face at all times. You can even smile. <laughs> Gently, with the next inhale, walk yourself back up. Okay, on to the twist. So place the left foot on the outer side of the right knee. You see the, the, feet, the foot is firmly on the ground. So inhale, arms up, and exhale, gently twist to the left. Arm behind you. Right leg engaged on the ground and hugging the 
left knee in. Strengthening the spine and twisting to the left even more. Breathe in and breathe out. Try to find comfort in discomfort. That's what's yoga all about. Finding the ease in not most comfortable situations or positions. Inhale, tall spine. And exhale, relax. Great. Extend both legs. Now we're gonna do full forward fold. So inhale, both arms up, straighten your spine, lengthen it as much as you can through the crown of your head and gently fall forward. Make sure that you don't hook like this, rather bend your knees more and just straighten your back as much as you can. You can grab your feet if you can. If you can, just place your forearms on the ground. It's still fine. Do whatever you can. Do the best, you know. No pressure, no competition. Everybody is different. and It's not about ranges. It's about how you feel in it. And breathe. Let the gravity do the thing. One deep inhale. And long exhale. So on an inhale, walk yourself back up. And gently find your way into the lying position. Gently vertebra by vertebra. Hug your knees into the, into the chest. And release. And try to... Try to grab the outer edges of your feet into the happy baby. So you want to try to uh, have your heels over your knees, your lower back glued to the mat, shoulders glued to the mat, and just stretching the hips and inner thighs and breathing in. If you want to experiment more, you can either straighten one leg out or the other. I'm trying to look for that right angle for you. With the breath and relaxed face. And gently release. Hug your knees in once again and keep the right knee in, extend the left leg to the ground and now we're going to go into supinal twist. So gently place the right knee over the left hip. You want to adjust your hip so it's more central, the hip that's on the ground. You want to glue the shoulders, shoulder blades to the mat and just you, wanna, you can look to the right side on, or, or to the ceiling, sorry. Breathing in that twist. Feeling that space. Mm. Feels so good. And 
gently with an inhale, come to the center. Again, bring both knees into your chest and change the leg. Extend the right one and move the left knee to the right. Place your shoulder blades on the mat. You can actually you can check what's the right um, setup for you because you can either bring the knees a little bit higher or a little bit lower. Whatever, whatever feels good for you. And look to the left. And breathe in. And breathe out. With the next inhale, bring the knee to the center and release the leg into our final Shavasana. Feet mat distance apart, loose arms with the palms facing up and just feel your body melting into the ground. Take a moment to see if anything has changed. How are your body's feeling? You can close your eyes and just be for a few seconds. Take a deep breath in and let it out. <sighs> Gently move your fingers and toes. You can extend your arms over your head and just stretch whole body. And gently, gently roll onto one side. Without opening your eyes, push yourself up. Do the seated position. Put your heart, uh, put your arms in the heart center. And just take a moment to thank yourself for that practice, for that time, for yourself, with love. Thank you for being here today with me. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you like the, the practice, that you feel a little bit better, a little bit loose. And pardon my English. <laughs> it was the first ever session recorded <laughs> for me in English. So I hope you for, you'll forgive me that all of that. <laughs> But yeah, I hope to see you soon again on the mat. And yeah, let me know if you liked it. Um, share, subscribe, you know how it is right now. <laughs> Spread the word. I'd be really grateful for that. So thank you so much and see you.